Hello everyone. Today, let us begin a new subject, new course, embedded systems for six semester students of electronics and communication engineering. So what is an embedded system? To keep it in simple terms, embedded system is a system where hardware is embedded with software. And in case of an embedded system, the software is developed by the firm or the manufacturing company and hence it's called firmware. So it's a combination of hardware and firmware and which is designed to do a specific task. In contrast to the general computing systems, embedded systems have customized hardware and software along with memory and they do a specific task. Unlike the general purpose computing systems, embedded systems are designed to do a specific task. So where do we use these embedded systems? Rather, the question should be where we do not use embedded systems it's because embedded systems are used everywhere in our day to day lives, right from the mobile phone that you're holding in your hand to the complex space rovers and spacecraft embedded systems are there everywhere. So you can take examples of mobile phones or your ATM machines, washing machines, traffic light signal controllers, automobiles, air conditioners, modems or routers or switches your medical instruments like oximeters, heartbeat monitors, then smart devices like smart watches or smart shoes, then robotics, robotic toys, then in spacecraft and even space rovers. So embedded systems might be an independent system or they might be a part of a larger system. Uh, if you take an example of automobiles, there might be multiple embedded systems, which is a part of a larger system. So there might be embedded systems for headlamp controller or wiper controller or steering control or ABS anti-braking systems. So this way uh, in, a, in a larger system, there might be multiple embedded systems. Now let us have a look at the scheme of what you're going to study. The name of the subject is embedded systems. The course code or the subject code is 18 EC 62 and uh, number of lecture hours per week is three plus two tutorial classes. The total number of lecture hours is 50. That is, since there are five modules, 10 hours per module. And as every other subject, the CIE marks is 40 and the SCE marks, as a semester and exam marks is 60, where the exam is conducted for 100 marks and reduced to 60 and exam hours is three. And the credits for this subject is four. Let us have a look at the course learning objectives. So here, uh, the objectives are to explain the architectural features and instructions of 32-bit microcontroller that is ARM Cortex M3. We are going to study one particular 32-bit microcontroller that is ARM Cortex M3. Then to develop programs using various instructions of ARM Cortex M3 and C language for different applications. We're going to study to how to write the, the instruction set of ARM Cortex M3 in assembly language and well as well, uh, we are going to write the program in embedded C. Then to understand the basic hardware components and their selection method based on the characteristics and attributes of an embedded system. We are going to study the components of embedded system. Then we are going to study how to select the components based on the different characteristic, characteristics and attributes. Then we are going to develop the hardware software co-design and firmware design approaches. There are different um, uh, methodologies for hardware software co-design. Since here, hardware and software are embedded, they have to be designed together. So there are different approaches for that. We are going to look at them. Then we will also explain the need of real-time operating system for embedded system applications. So we will have a look at the syllabus. There are five modules. The first module is ARM 32-bit microcontroller. The second module is ARM Cortex M3 instruction set and programming. Third module is embedded system components. The fourth one is embedded system design concepts. And the fifth one is R1000 IDE for embedded system design. The first two modules are related to the ARM Cortex M3 microcontroller. And the other three modules are about the embedded systems. So the first module is ARM 32-bit microcontroller. The contents of this particular module is a thumb two technology. We are going to study the thumb two. What is the concept of thumb two? And applications of ARM architecture of ARM Cortex M3, different units or various units in the architecture, then debugging support, then the architecture, you know, the general purpose registers, special registers, exceptions, interrupts, stack operation and research sequence. This is all about the architecture and applications of ARM 32-bit microcontroller. In the second module, we have the instruction set and programming of ARM Cortex M3. 
uh, we are going to study the assembly language program, the basics, then instruction list and description. Then we will study the thumb and arm instructions and special instructions and useful instructions. Then the concept of CMSIS, that is Cortex Microcontroller Software Interface Standard. Then assembly and C language programming with examples. In the third module, we have embedded system components. There we will differentiate between embedded systems versus general purpose computing systems. Then the classification of embedded systems then the major applications of embedded systems, purpose of embedded systems, then elements of an embedded system or the typical embedded system along with the block diagram and explanation. Then the differences between different types of architecture that is RISC and CISC, Harvard and Princeton and big and little Indian formats. Then memory, the types of memory, ROM and RAM, then the sensors, actuators, optocoupler, then different communication interfaces like I2C, SPI, IRDA, that is infrared, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and Zigbee. In the fourth module, we have embedded system design concepts where you know we are going to study characteristics and quality attributes of embedded systems, operational and non-operational quality attributes, then the embedded systems, application and domain specific. We are going to see uh, application specific embedded system. We are going to take an example of a washing machine and domain specific. We are going to take an example of automotive domain, then the hardware, software, core design, different approaches and the program modeling. There are different uh, approaches for pro modeling, uh, excluding UML, then embedded firmware design and development, excluding C language. Then in the fifth module, we have RTOS and IDE for embedded system design. That is real-time operating systems and uh, integrated development environment for embedded system design. Here we study operation system basics, types of operating systems, task, process, and threats, with an example for POSIX threads, a type of thread, then thread preemption, preemptive task scheduling techniques, different techniques, then task communication and synchronization issues like tracing and deadlock, concept of binary and counting semaphores, with an example of mutex, then how to choose an RTOS, then integration and testing of embedded hardware and firmware, then embedded system development environment with the block diagram, then disassembler and decompiler, and simulator, emulator, and debugging techniques. So this is about the contents of the syllabus. Then at the end of the day, when you complete the subject or the course, this should be the outcomes. That is to describe the architectural features and instructions of 32-bit microcontroller. That is one particular microcontroller that we are going to study. That is ARM Cortex M3. Then apply the knowledge gained for programming ARM Cortex M3 for different applications. So we are going to uh, program using uh, assembly language as well as using embedded C. Then understand the basic hardware components and the selection method based on the characteristics and attributes of an embedded system. Then develop the hardware, software, co-design and firmware design approaches uh, with certain examples. Then explain the need for real-time operating system for embedded system applications. So these are the course outcomes. So the textbooks prescribed by the university for the subject, there are two books. One is the definitive guide to the ARM Cortex M3 by Joseph Hugh. So this textbook is uh, for the first two modules, that is for Cortex-3, ARM Cortex-M3 microcontrollers. And the second textbook is Introduction to Embedded Systems by Shivu KV. So this uh, second edition is prescribed, even the first edition books are available. So the contents are the same, you know, the it's for the third, fourth and fifth modules. Okay, so this is about the introduction to the subject. Uh, apart from the theory, you also have a lab component in this, that is Embedded Systems Lab where we are going to write programs in assembly and embedded C for certain operations, then in C for interfacing the uh, ARM Cortex M3 microcontroller. We have LPC1768 microcontroller that is having ARM Cortex M3 architecture. So we are going to interface it to different hardware like stepper motor or uh, LCD, uh, LCD display, uh, LED seven segment display, the DC motor, a temperature sensor and a keyboard um, and many other things. So I'll be covering that in a separate session that is embedded systems lab. So in the next session, we will begin with the module three that is embedded system components. So we will finish the part of embedded systems first and then we will move on to the ARM Cortex M3 microcontroller.